Good morning. Good morning. Oh, don't let her anywhere near the... We can't... Right, he's panicking because there's a dog. I think you can see the tail. Can you see the tail? Woo! There's a dog tail. Oh, that's better. Oh, no, no, he's gone really wrong. Oh, dear. <laughs> RSPCA, it's all right, it's all under control. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot it had holes. Do you think you could keep her over there? <laughs> see, see, this is exactly what I don't want. <laughs> anyway, as you can see, we're still here. We just wanted to let you know uh, we're still here. We're not cruising today. Wait, see if I can... Oh. I'll, I'll do it better this time. I'm going to sit on my knee. You can sit on my knee. See? Better. You're not in shot now. I am. Hello. This is Amateur Productions Unlimited. I was in shot we, we've, we've come out of the marina, which is just there. <laughs> and we're staying here as long as the sun's shining. But we just thought we'd let you know that we're still... A lot of people would wish we would go away, but we're still here. I <laughs> hope well, yeah, they would. And there's just a few things we'd like to cover. You might be wondering about the... Where, where did that come from? Well, the trouble is, we don't know. M mother, if you're watching it... It could be Mother. Did, did you give us this? I th we don't well, she's not going to answer us now, is she? No, but we think that it's well, small and nice. I said small. it's nice and light and airy and breathable. Yeah, but it's bright. So, the main reason I'm wearing it is if I fall off the back of the boat, I don't want to foul anybody's prop. So I thought it would give oncoming boats a good opportunity to see me floating in the water. He's fallen in the water! I'd just like to say hello to Barbara and her beautiful rescue, uh, not rescue dog, uh, therapy, therapy dog, dog who, who turned up last night outside the boat and we had a really good chat. She's just moved into our marina from another local marina that will not be named. No, that every, everyone keeps leaving for some reason, I don't know why. So, that, that's, that's Barbara, this. Ethel. Ethel. Yeah. Nothing ever happens to you, does it? So. What, me? Yeah. No, I just kind of just like float in a cloud of... Just not float. Well, perhaps you need this. Next. Perhaps you... Right. So I did break my mobile phone. Oh. No, because I've previous this is... In a previous video, we talked about how many phones Tom's got through. And he bought me a new one in so April. So if, if you haven't watched that video, <laughs> when you get to it, add another one. Right. So 26th of April, John bought me an S10 refurbished phone and he only gets me refurbished because he don't think they're going to last long anyway I stood on it didn't I? how long did it last well uh, oh well, I don't do maths from so. I reckon about two months exactly no it was two months because it was the end of June anyway so yeah so I broke another phone and it was not and we replaced it because the plans that we're on are 5G but we hadn't got 5G phones so he's got a 5G phone and when we're out we can share data but the only place that we've got 5G up to now is been Salford Hospital yeah we'd have to go to Liverpool I think I'm on about anywhere where the boat can go or Birmingham have we got new neighbours? oh I don't know but anyway um, so that's I'd, I'd like to mention there's one of you, our viewers, and you know you know who you are, who refers to me as Victor, and uh, I can only assume he means Victor Meldrew. Can't understand I why. I think that's really unfair for Victor Meldrew. Oh, well. Who's nice? Uh, recently at home, we, we had a, 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 a piece of post through the letterbox. It wasn't just a flyer, a random anybody. It was addressed to our address. And it was from the funeral services. Now, two things cropped in my mind. One, do they know something that we don't? Yeah. You've or, got Parkinson's stuff, and I suffer with depression, and it's not really a good idea here to so send us both. It, that. If it wasn't targeted because they know something that we don't, then it's fly tipping. And there was a nice first class postage paid oh, reply no, envelope. Know, so I got some discarded f uh, 
food wrapping, put it in the nice envelope and I'd return the favour. And I think Victor Maldrew would have been proud. There is something else that you're missing something. On the same post date, what else came with it? Able World. Oh, Able World. Fly for Able World. Somebody's been grassing on us. <laughs> so, that's what we've been up to. Oh. Well, I suppose I've got to talk about... She's actually doing well at the moment, you know. She's not moved. You've got it in a half Nelson. <laughs> oh, no, no, don't, don't move, darling. Don't, in, don't move. in a recent video, to, we, we haven't been out because we're, we're stuck either at hospital appointments or waiting for hospital appointments. So we've, we've come out for a few days because the next hospital appointment isn't until next week. Although we did have to drive 60 miles to Salford last Wednesday. Just for a blood test. To be there for 8 o'clock in the morning, up the M62, if anybody knows, you know. And there was a crash and all it all came to a standstill, just for a blood test. Yeah, Had to be done in the neurology department. Is, once you do get there, it's free parking if you've got a, a blue badge. Yeah, but we never bother with that, we just paid it. Well, no, you know why? All you had to do was just go, show the picture, and, and, and you couldn't be bothered, so you just spent the £2 instead. Waste, wasteful. So, a few videos ago, I did mention going to the abattoir with the bloke with the, the uh, cattle prod, um, who gave me electric shocks. Um, I, I had a report back from the neurologist, which was just one sentence. That was a bit. And I thought, well, this isn't... And I had to wait weeks for that. I thought, this isn't very good. So I, I rang up and I said, no, the guy, the guy that prodded me with the cattle prod spent an hour and ten minutes, and he did a lot of talking. And I want his report. I don't want a summary, one line. I want his report. So I eventually got it. And it's all technical jargon. But he has alluded to a condition. He, he, he said, basically, I would say about 85% they have the evidence to suggest this condition. And that's why it's a blood test, isn't it? And they said, we'll, we'll refer you to the nerve <laughs> clinic Bless me. for more tests, which is I'm still waiting for, and that's two months ago. Um, so... If anybody's in the system with the NHS, keep badgering them because they will go to sleep. And they'll blame COVID. It must, all I can assume is it makes NHS staff tired. They all go, oh, tired. Yay. Oh, all right then. Oh, so anyway, you, you've mentioned NHS, you've not clapped. There is another kind of clap I'd like to give them. So... There's some... The no, 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 right. No. You're not having this, right? Okay. There are some woeful NHS staff, like in anything. However, tell me what that wonderful receptionist did in Salford with you. She saw that you were struggling, and she walked you well, all I, the way. I got there. That at, was kind. At that was five, nice. five to eight, and she said we don't open till eight. I said, "Well, my appointment's at eight. This is at the check-in reception." She said, "Oh, all right." And she gave me a piece of paper and because I hadn't got a letter because this was organised over the phone. She gave me a piece of paper and a pencil and said, can you write your details down on there? And I said, no, I can't because I can't hold the pencil. So she came round and she, she, was she wrote it all down for me. And she said, first of all, I wasn't on the system because it had been arranged two days earlier. And she said, I've found you, don't worry, you've got your appointment and it's not far from here. And the very, very nice lady came from behind her station, leaving a big queue of people, mind you, waiting to, <laughs> to no, check in. She did what was right. And she walked me down to the place where but I'd got to go. What you mean about NHS staff, think about the nice things that they do. I know, she was lovely. I mean, I'll, I will admit that some of them are pretty useless, but she was brilliant. But the, the, the report was all technical jargon, but I'm not stupid. I, I can figure out what words mean. Well, you know what, what abnormal and, and normal means, don't you? Yeah. So that, that's the thing, all the way through the report, it says abnormal. All normal. the measurements that he took, and there were lots of them, but they, they, they all came under the category of normal, slow, very slow, 
abnormal. Oh, bless him, he's a bit ab slow. Abnormal and absent. And I added them all up, and five of the readings were described as normal, and 19 fell into the category of abnormal, slow, very slow, or absent. Now, I'm no expert, but I know that's not good. But the condition that he's is suspicious of, but there's some features that weren't ap apparent in the tests, is something called CIDP, which st stands for Chronic Inflammatory Demyelinating Polyneuropathy. Are you, just, are you just collecting different letters now? Well, the one in my eye is Fuchs Heterochromic Iridocyclitis, but that's another story. That sounds like it should be, it sounds like something from, um, what's that awful film that we haven't watched? Sound of Music? No, the other one. E.T. With um, Dick Van Dyke in it. Mary Poppins? Yeah, that's the one. So anyway, <laughs> the, the, the outcome of that was we need to refer you for more tests. And I'm still waiting and I'm on hold and we're not able to go out in the boat or we're not able to go very far. Actually, why have we got away? We're not supposed to because you're waiting for appointments. Well, because I'm fed up with waiting. Literally, we go. Just sit there waiting for the postman. Has he got anything for us? Oh, got God bored no. of listening to the uh, listening to the neighbours going up and down the stairs, so we thought we'd go away. So here we are. Just a quick update and a rant and a rave. Um, we'll, we'll draw a line under it there. I think we've we've terrorised our viewers you know, enough. You know what though? Like obviously, people will know that me and Ethel we do sometimes have a little bit of a problem with weight, a little bit. But anyway. But both of us were a bit naughty this morning. We had bacon for our breakfast. Even Ethel. Yeah, but she ran hers off, and that'll be the next clip. <laughs> will be Ethel. How you how you exercise a dog without uh, walking yourself? Excuse me, I did. <laughs> I, I ran from here to there twice. That's my exercise. Steve Steve Miller, if you're watching, I am exercising. I'm just. Eating food. Does he watch us? He does watch us. From Fat Families, he's my favourite person in the world. Oh. I love Steve Miller. On that note, we will be doing some cruising, um, but we won't be going very far. Bye. Bye. That was I. Oh my god. What are you going to do? Ethel! Come on. Da 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 da. There's nothing in there for you. Come on. Come on. Come on then, I should be having a heart attack. That's how you exercise the dog without walking anywhere yourself.